public that's asking too much, I'll pay for their services. That's all you want, huh? I think that should take care of it, yes. I'd like to leave in about an hour. Or oh, one other thing. I want to buy some clothes, if you can spare them. This uh, costume is hardly fit for desert travel. Well, no. I told you I'd pay for it. Well, what if you did? Can I buy time with your money? Can I buy a barrel of water with it? When you say you are, you must know the Eastern Beef Market has dropped a dead bottom. That's why we're moving this herd to Seattle. We don't get them there before the California beef comes up from the south. My boss and most of his neighbors will be bankrupt. And that's why I can't spare one horse or one man or one hour to take you anywhere. If you want to ride along in the truck wagon till we get to Carter Station, you can catch the stage to the railroad. And that's the best I can offer you. <laughs> I refuse. You're big enough to do anything else you want. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jim, you almost met your match there. Uh, Lynn okay. Childs had a very good role there as a spoiled rich man. So. He was wonderful and uh, he was great in the role. And uh, Lynn's a great friend. Uh, getting back to John McIntyre, he came in after Charles Bigford passed away. On the, the he, he worked till Friday night till about midnight and went home and was passed away on Sunday. He had pneumonia and was very sick and he never mentioned it and wouldn't say a word about it. He wanted to go out doing any, finished all his scenes in the picture and went out. So we were fortunate to get John McIntyre and Janet Nolan to come in and, and take over the ranch and they did a wonderful, wonderful job for the last uh, three years of the Virginian. And then we had uh, Stuart Granger in the final year when we changed the title to the men from Shiloh. So. I was a little surprised that L.Q. Jones never got a better role in Virginia because every time he got a chance to act, he was he was exceptional. Oh, he is exceptional, and, uh, and and I'm looking forward to the end of October. They're going to give me the Silver Spur Award in in uh, Hollywood or uh, Sportsman's Lodge out there, and L.Q. is going to present it to me. So that's quite a thrill.